Hello everyone, Nick here from TV Box Stop with yet another featured product review. What I have for you today is an exciting new projector from the developers of UUO, which is a new brand on Amazon.com and they have released their latest projector called the UUO P6 which they have sent for today's review. This projector has lots of cool features and it delivers high quality HD projection with powerful audio and it can be used with all of your favorite media devices, streaming and gaming devices. This is a native Full HD 1080p LED projector with 8000 to 1 contrast ratio, 6000 lux and it produces up to 300 inches of HD display with manual and digital keystone correction. So in this video, I'll do a full review of its display quality, its interface and its audio quality and you'll see if the UU OP6 is right for you. So stay tuned, you have that after the break. Welcome back. So this is the box that the P6 comes in and it's a big box weighing 3.5 kilograms which is just around 7.9 pounds. So be mindful of this especially if you are shipping from Amazon to outside of the US as this will generate some taxes due to its sheer weight and the actual cost of the projector which at the time of making this video is $236 and this may reduce as time passes. The box itself does not have any specifications about the projector itself printed on it, only some general features. So without further ado, I'll unpack its contents and continue. So this is what's inside the box. You have the projector itself. One power cable, a remote control, one HDMI cable, one 3.5 millimeters to RCA audio video cable, and the last item here is a user's manual. And now a look at its design and its input output ports. To the front of the projector, you have the projector lens cover, an infrared receiver, and the UUO branding. To the right side of the projector, you have two HDMI ports, an SD card reader and the exhaust vent. To the rear of the projector, you have one VGA port, two USB ports, one of which is a 5 volt charging port. You have another infrared receiver, one audio video input jack, a headphone jack, the AC power input and the rear speaker. To the left side, you have the focus wheel, a manual keystone correction lever and the intake vent. To the top of the projector, you have manual control buttons and a power LED light. And below the projector, you have four rubber feet, screw holes for using a ceiling mount, a height adjustment kickstand, and a removable dust filter. And that's it. I will now set this up on a projector stand and using a projector screen and continue. So I'm all set. And here I have the projector set up on a projector stand connected to an Android TV box using one of the HDMI inputs and I'm using it together with a pull down projector screen. The projector is approximately 6 feet away from the screen and I'll now initiate the startup process. So when you start the projector for the first time, there is no logo or startup animation. It simply takes you directly to the menu screen. On the remote. There is a source button for selecting which input you would like the projector to read from and there is a menu button that takes you to the system settings. The projector starts on the USB input by default and to switch sources, you simply tap on the source button on the remote and you'll be taken to a screen where you can select between the VGA port, the AV port, the HDMI 1 or HDMI 2 port or the SD card slot. The menu is divided into four settings. The first settings is the picture settings. Here you can adjust the picture mode. You have the color temperature settings. You can adjust its aspect ratio.
you have a noise reduction setting. You can rotate the display using the projection direction setting in case you need to hang the projector from a ceiling. And you have an HDI mode setting. Next, you have the song settings. Here you can select between various presets or you can select your custom bass and treble settings. Next, you have your system options. These are the various languages to choose from. You have your restore factory default settings in case there is a need to reset the projector. There is a blending settings that adds a transparent effect to the menu. There is an on-screen display duration settings. You have your digital keystone settings in case there is the need to position the projector at an angle. And finally, there is a software update via USB settings. I will now fine tune its settings to obtain optimal picture quality and play some HD videos along with some Android games on the TV box for a live demonstration.
only a win for Barca would be enough because it would give them the same number of points as Atletico, but the head-to-head -head goal difference is what counts in the case of a tie on points. The mosaic of the camp now and the So the picture quality is really good. You have sharp edges and the sound is loud with deep bass, loud enough that you don't need additional speakers. In summary, the UUOP6 I would say is a good projector for watching movies and playing games on a big display. It truly delivers HD display quality and powerful sound. Once you turn up the volume, you won't even hear the fan noise. I personally like the digital keystone correction feature. The focus wheel can be adjusted from the side and at the front and it doesn't move once you set it in place. So I've come to the end of my review. If you are interested in the UUOP6 and at the same time want to support this channel, use the affiliate link provided in the description below this video as it provides the means to acquire more products for review. Thanks goes out to UUO for providing their product for today's review. Show them some support by clicking on the like button and if you want to see more of my videos, click the subscribe button and the notifications bell to be notified for your email when I release a new video or do a giveaway. Thanks for watching and I look forward to the next one.